All right, here we are. Oops, nope, that's good. Okay, it is a very special day today. We are filming in fifth period accelerated algebra two instead of fourth period. Make some noise, you guys. <laughs> All right, so we are doing Systems of equations, again, we have a very easy lesson today. In fact, probably all of you could start your homework right now and do most of it and finish it without even having seen this lesson. But that's okay, we're gonna go through it anyway. Can um, <laughs> but can you? If you would like to, you can. Yes, yes you can. Okay, now, the main thing that I want you guys to get out of today's lesson is figuring out which way um, is the best way of solving systems of equations based on how the problem is set up initially, okay? So, what a lot of the problems that we have seen so far have looked something like this. 5x plus y equals 7, 3x plus 2y equals 0. Okay, so somebody start me out. How would I go about solving this system using the tools that we have already used. What would be a good thing, Michaela? You multiply the top of the by two. Good. Now, would it be just regular two, or would do I have to do something to the two? Uh, you have to make some noise. Perfect. So everybody, make some noise for Michaela. Nicely yeah. done. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. So we. So what she said for if the camera didn't pick it up, it. So if we multiply the top equation by negative two, then the negative 2y, positive 2y cancel out, and that's the goal. All right, so let's do that. Can somebody tell me, once we multiply that negative through negative 2 through, what equation I end up with? Jessica? Um, negative 10x minus 2y uh -huh. equals negative 14. Awesome. Make some noise for Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> that will be interesting to watch back. That was... <laughs> All right, so... Now what? <laughs> now we add them. All right, good. So when we add straight down, can someone tell me what we end up with? Ariana. Negative 7x equals negative Equals negative 14. Okay, give it up for Ariana. That's <laughs> better. <laughs> All right, now what do we do? So to solve this, Emily, they're shy, you guys. Emily? Good, and we get what as an answer for x? All right, make some noise for Emily. Woo! All right, good. Okay, now, so you all know, fifth period is getting a little shy right now. We're starting to come out of our shells. They're not used to the camera thing. It's all right. By the end, you'll all be wanting to talk. Okay, what now? Okay, Crystal. Plug it. Okay, good. Plug it into what? Okay. Oh, that's okay, good. So she said, everybody give it up for Crystal. Yeah. Hey, yeah. so we can plug it into either equation. She chose the one that had um, a zero in it. I would agree. That's a lot easier than the other one. Okay, so we get 6 plus 2y equals zero. Move that up. Okay, so then how do I go about solving this? Someone walk me through the steps to solve this. Nikki. Um, then you subtract the 6 from the 2y. Good. 2y equals negative 6 in the last step. Go ahead. Divide by 2, so we get y equals negative 3. Okay, so then our overall coordinate at the very end is, Nicole? 2, negative 3. All right, everybody give it up for everybody who just did that problem. <laughs> Good job. Okay, so that is the normal way that we have gone about doing these. Anytime you see, what you all, I hope, are noticing is that the x's here are lined up, the y's are lined up, and then all of the coefficients or numbers by themselves are lined up. That is when using this method or the addition or elimination method is better. So let's look at a situation where um, it might not be set up like that. So using a different method would be more appropriate. Is anyone still using this or can I take it off? No, okay. All right, so let's do another one. So let's say we have x equals 3y and x minus y equals 8. x equals 3y and x minus y equals 8. Okay, so I'm hoping that we're noticing that everything is not actually lined up. 
I mean, it kind of looks like they are, except that the equal sign isn't matching up and that kind of thing. And we have one variable that's already isolated completely by itself, and that is x equals 3y. So this is a situation where using the substitution method would be more appropriate. So if we know that x equals 3y, we're literally going to take what x equals, plug it into the other equation where there's an x. Okay, so we get 3y minus y equals 8. So who can finish solving this one for me? Um, Ashley Tran. Like terms, good. Mm -hmm. Good, and then what's the last step to solve? Good, so we get y equals 4. Give it up for Ashley. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> good. All right, now that we have y equals 4, now I mean, there's no difference at this point. What do we do to get x? Jessica. You plug it into um, x equals 3y, so it's 3 times 4, which is 12, so x. Perfect. Go ahead. What's the last What's the, whoops, it was 12. Whoop, yeah. I can't see that, okay. Good, so then what is the coordinate? Four, or 12, 4. 12, 4, all right, everybody give it up for Jessica. Woo! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you guys are funny. Okay, um, are there questions? Would you all like to go through another example, or do you understand the difference between the two? Do we want to do? Do we want to do a situation where we have somebody come up and solve one? <laughs> oh, yay! Okay, Maria has volunteered. I'm gonna put it up first. I'm gonna let you guys work on it for a couple minutes, and then Maria is gonna come up and show us how to solve it. Okay? So this last one is y equals two x plus four. Whoop! Hold on, you can almost not see that. Y equals two x plus four, and y equals ten. So y equals 2x plus 4 and y equals 10. Okay, I'm going to pause it for a second, give you guys a couple minutes to work. Give it up for Maria. Woo! Oh, yeah. okay. All right. Okay. 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 Self too. Yay! All right. So, are there any questions? Make sense? Cool. Okay, so your homework. Whoops. Homework number 19. It is page 122. Written exercises numbers 1 to 17 odd. I am going to let the music take us away. Okay, so everybody write that down. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, we need the numbers, talk to one, two, three, because if we didn't have math, they could charge us hitting fees on our cell phone bills, and even on our taxes, all we gotta do is put in a little practice from the plumbers to the teachers, mm -hmm. and even the physicians, the doctors and the lawyers, oh, wait, even the physicians the counting down, the like one, two, three, four, we can hear it on the beat and even read it on the score, some say, a waste of time, what are they doing in course, it ain't no end up, again, the sweeping up the floor, shout out to Miss Miller, and even Mr. D, Miss Barnett, and Miss from algebra 2 to trigonometry if it wasn't for math then where would we be yeah. shout out to miss miller uh -huh. and even miss uh -huh. b miss barnett